Now that I've finished doing my hair. I mean, it's really cool how other people can do it. Yo, what up, everybody? I was lost all the time. The anxiety, the nervousness. They think snowballed into this huge monster. When I'm anxious, it just feels like my mind's racing a million miles an hour, and I just can't set it straight. I would just feel nervous all the time. I desperately wanted every interaction that I ever had to be this glowing, positive connection with the other person. And when I didn't get that, I go, oh, like, what did I do wrong? I wanted to be like that guy all the time. I feel the pressure to be the perfect everything. I want to be the perfect daughter. Wanted to fit in. Wish I was like that person. What college? More pressure. Who do I have to impress? Vaping made my social anxieties 10 times worse. I used to be stressed about going to school and talking to new kids and stuff, but around my friends and around my family, I wasn't, you know, that was comfortable for me. And then it became, even around those people, I had to vape. So that made my anxiety even worse. That's when the vaping cycle kicks in. With my anxiety, I thought it made it better, but if anything, vaping made it worse. I love painting, I love lacrosse. I'm really into theater arts and singing. I remember one time when I had about three minutes before I went on the stage, I was really, really nervous. I don't know what came over me. I just had to find a vape. Going through backpacks, looking under tables, I was almost having a breakdown. I want to, I don't want to, yeah, a breakdown. I thought that vaping gave me peace of mind, quote unquote, but it really didn't. I was just telling myself that. I had just gone through this major breakup and I was very depressed, very sad, felt lonely, felt confused. Whenever I got anxious, I would hit my vape. It wasn't helping me get through it. It wasn't helping me eliminate it. It added to it and it would get worse and worse. It was like a floodgate of negative emotions, sadness, depression, just anger, all these things. I didn't even realize how, how toxic it was, how bad it was, how dependent I was. I wish I knew that it was okay to have off days. It's okay to be sad. I quit vaping because it allowed me to be me again. I started running again. I started doing more films. Giving your mind things to do allows you to work on yourself where then you can come back and be more okay with yourself than you were the day before. I just love sports because doing something that I love, it just ease my anxiety a lot. When I'm not vaping and I get anxious, I get through it. I'm not holding on to it. I'm feeling the anxiety and then I move on. Vaping got in the way of the stuff that I care about. Held me in that sad place. It was a fake form of confidence. If I feel those same emotions, I go into the pool and I'm able to release them. The pool is my sanctuary. I feel my truest self in the water. And then after I do that, I feel like I could conquer anything.